you guys, how you doing? This is Manga, etc. And I'm here today to bring the review for One Piece episode 1039, I do believe it is. And basically all this episode is about is seeing the effects of what Otama does within the last episode. And it's basically a help to them. I don't want to really say big help, but a help to them. No, I'm, I'm, I personally am not a fan of Otama even turning up to the war. I feel like it was very sloppy writing from Oda to have a kid turn up to the war. And spoiler but she's gonna end up coming out of this unscathed the whole world unscathed if there was some sort of ramification for her being there then maybe i'd been more more for it but like i said the majority of the episode just basically shows us the effects of her using her powers within this scenario and it basically opens the door for the solo fights to start happening so we're gonna have sanji versus queen we get a little teaser of that we see some we see they don't really do nothing action wise within the episode but we do see frankie talking to Suzaki, and then jimby and Husi, which i'll talk about later on so like i said we had sanji um playing with with queens to a sense we found out that queen was part of mads and we find out that queen's a cyborg something we probably already figured out for ourselves but during this scene what we also get is we get to find out the side effects of Chopper's new Rumble Ball and now Baby Geezer. I don't know about you personally, but it has dawned on me just now, not when I read it in the manga, but it has dawned on me just now that I feel like, maybe it's because the an- what the anime did, but I feel like the anime put so much emphasis on this side effect that to find out that it's just, you know, Chopper's going to shrink for a bit on a Luffy Gear 3 tip, doesn't seem that bad. Maybe there's more to it that we don't know yet, but so far, mm, side effect, not really feeling it. So after that, we go on to Zoro. So obviously we know Zoro is injured. We find out just about how injured he is within this chapter. Mr. Miyagi, I think his name is, tells us that he's got 30 to 20 broken bones. And yeah, we just get a little taste of how injured he is. And obviously, we want Zoro to continue fighting. He hasn't had his one-on-one fight yet so obviously we want him to still be a player within the series and i was all for that as well but i don't like the way they go about it it feels cheap it feels forced simply because there was no foreshadowing for this wonder drug drug of zao in the past if there was i wouldn't have a problem with it and because i feel like it's forced and there's no foreshadowing for it i don't understand why other didn't use one of the many other methods he could have used two heels or in this scenario. Law, for instance. Yes, I know Law has departed from them, but and he's in a different place right now, but didn't start off like that. He could have quickly done that before he was on his way. However, there is another medic on the scene. Marco, sorry, I forgot his name for a second. That's why I paused. That's why the pause was so long. Sorry, Marco. Marco is also there. He's also a doctor with healing abilities. So I would have rather that they healed Zoro this way than just magically appearing some wonder drug out of nowhere that we hadn't heard about previously but there is this wonder drug that's going to cure him however there will be a side effect where he feels twice twice the pain that he is feeling right now and i don't know i don't i don't think about this when i was reading it in the manga but i definitely did think about it today is that does that equivalent to the pain you have to suffer at the end of the film arc i always feel like that that would be his greatest feat what well, one of his greatest feats, the pain that they suffered in the um, filler bark. But yeah, it just made me think about that. And yeah, so after that, the last thing I do want to talk about is the Jimby and who's who, I was going to say Saki, um, the Jimby and who's who set up. So we do see a few techniques, basically what this scene in the chapter was, in this episode was about, us starting to learn about who's who's history and who's who in, in general what he's a, what he can do what he could be about and yeah what just started to learn about his history basically and we find out that he has ties to the gum gum no meat so very exciting stuff there we'll learn more about that as things go on but same thing i've got to say about this chapter the pacing for the chapter wasn't was um was fairly good even though we was all over well not all over, i don't want to say all over the place i mean it sounds bad even though we visited different places within this episode it seemed to flow more as one whereas it was a continued thing rather than 
one, two, three, four, five. It was just like one, two, three kind of thing. If you get what I tried to do there. But yeah, so for those reasons, I'm going to give this episode a three star rating. And of course, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.